Hello, Chris Strait here with BetUS.com. Uh, doing it a little bit early, but I'm getting it out there so that uh, people can, you know, can start the ball rolling, and I'll do a more in-depth analysis the week of the fight. But Mosley versus Pacquiao, uh, Fight Camp 360, the uh, Showtime ripoff of HBO's 24/7, is happening. Uh, Showtime showing more action fights lately. Although I got to tell you, HBO last week really caught up quick. I mean, it's they've been sort of the house of upsets uh, last weekend, uh, Showtime and, H and ESPN, uh, four out of the five fights televised were big surprise wins. Last night, uh, only Khan won as expected, uh, and even then it ended bizarrely, but, you know, um, Ortiz with a big upset went over Berto, um, and, of course, Juan was shockingly losing to Orlando Salado. I don't feel f comfortable picking anything anymore. But Mosley over Pacquiao, again, does it have all the ingredients of an upset? Yeah, Mosley always the intangible, brings his best game to his big fights. In fact, unless you count Miguel Cotto as a superstar of the game, uh, Mosley's undefeated when taking on someone who's supposed to be the next, you know, savior of boxing. Margarito's supposed to be the next Mexican star. Mosley chopped him down. De La Hoya was an undefeated, essentially. I mean, Trinidad was a robbery. Undefeated fighter, you know, becoming a big star, became a big one anyway, but he's got two losses to Mosley, uh, one legitimate. Uh, so he really does rise to the occasion, particularly when he's facing a, uh, a very popular celebrity with a fan base that, I mean, Mosley puts on a brave smile, but he's very angered that he hasn't become that crossover star. He feels like he has all the tools, uh, and yet because of Mexican and Filipino, you know, fan bases being maybe more loyal, he has gotten, uh, he has, he's sort of gotten passed over for that attention. And, you know, he, he looks soft in an in-between fight and comes back for the big one. Mosley, dis I mean, uh, Pacquiao distracted, maybe finally this will do it. But again, this is just part of Bob Arum's spin. I asked you not to fall for it for Margarito, and I'm asking you not to fall for it now. Uh, not that he is always careful. I mean, he's the manager, he's the promoter for Wanma. And Wanma, you know, took on Salido, a guy who's very dangerous and, you know, the wrong guy for him. You know, a very durable guy who comes straight forward and just keeps throwing. I mean, a durable guy with power, it doesn't matter how outskilled he is. Lopez showed he was the more skilled fighter. But he needs to, he has lapses, he gets caught, and he needs to be able to be very offensively superior to defeat somebody, and, and part of that is able to, being able to hurt him. He's a big puncher. He stops everybody. And the two times he couldn't stop a guy, Rogers Matagua nearly knocked him out, and Orlando Salido, Salido did. I think it was an early stoppage, but we were on the way to seeing that. So what am I saying here rambling on? It's supposed to be about Pacquiao Mosley, but it's mostly been about uh, just the recent upsets and how we're kind of looking forward to something. I'll give a more official prediction and analysis as we get closer, but right now I am not leaning towards the upset. I'm leaning towards Pacquiao by a decision that's very similar to the Mayweather uh, Mosley fight, and that Mosley will do something early that's you know gets us watching closer, something other guys haven't been able to do. He'll be more brave, but that essentially that will just wake Pacquiao up and the offensive superiority will show itself. I'm Chris Strait with BetUS.com.